Let us now see what are the types of equilibrium constants. Again, considering the same reaction M1A plus M2B equal to N1C plus N2D. The first type of equilibrium constant we can write as Kc or simply K. It is known as equilibrium constant in terms of concentration or active mass. So Kc would be as usual C to the power N1 into D to the power N2 upon A to the power M1 into B to the power M2. Then we have another type of equilibrium constant especially for gaseous reactions because we know for a gas, since for a gas, its active mass is proportional to its partial pressure. And remember, partial pressure is mole fraction into total pressure. So, when active mass is proportional to partial pressure and the reaction is a gaseous one, then equilibrium constant can be written as Kp. Obviously, it is equilibrium constant in terms of pressure or partial pressure. So, for this very reaction, we can write Kp equal to Pc raised to power n1 into Pd raised to power n2 upon Pa raised to power m1 into Pb raised to power m2. So, whenever needed, suppose we are given the data in the form of partial pressures, then it becomes convenient to deal with Kp. And if you are given concentrations or active masses, then it is convenient to deal with Kc. Third type of constant is Kx, we call it equilibrium constant in terms of mole fractions. Obviously, for that very reaction, I would like to write Kx equal to Xc to the power n1 into Xd to the power n2 over Xa to the power m1 into Xb to the power m2, where X means mole fraction. So, that way there are three types of equilibrium constants Kc, Kp and Kx. Suppose we have a heterogeneous reaction. An example of that is calcium carbonate solid equal to calcium oxide solid and carbon dioxide gas. Because so far we have been dealing with homogeneous reversible reactions. Let us have the example of a heterogeneous reaction also. So, for this type of reaction which is occurring in a closed vessel, mind it, this reaction should not be carried out in an open vessel. Otherwise, the entire carbon dioxide will escape into the atmosphere and the reaction will become irreversible. So, suppose an equilibrium state has been attained in a closed vessel for this reaction. So, what will be the expression for Kc and Kp for this reaction? Kc would be equal to active mass of the product. The product is carbon dioxide. Its stoichiometric coefficient is 1, so Kc would be equal to CO2 raised to power 1 upon 1. You will wonder why the terms for calcium carbonate and calcium oxide are missing. I have already explained it to you that for solids and liquids, pure solids and pure liquids, active masses for the sake of convenience are taken to be 1 because they remain constant during the course of reaction. So, for this solid and for this solid, active mass becomes unity, obviously Kc would be depending upon the concentration of carbon dioxide only. So, this becomes the expression of Kc for this reaction. Similarly, Kp for this reaction would be equal to how much? Nothing but the pressure of carbon dioxide or you may call partial pressure of carbon dioxide raised to power 1 because the stoichiometric coefficient of carbon dioxide is 1. No term related to calcium carbonate and calcium oxide would appear because they are solids and for them active masses are taken to be equal to unity.